Hello students, I hope you are well. Today is a bit of a sad video because of something I heard about in the news that some kids on TikTok are no longer with us. They thought it would be fun to follow a trend where they put an object around their neck and stop themselves from breathing to see how long they could last. One of them was only 10 years old. And now she's not breathing. How did this happen? Where were the parents? Kids, there are many of you who do not actually have good parents. I'm sorry to tell you, it's not your fault, but there are so many parents out there who are not watching what you're doing and it's not okay. There are so many parents out there who are bullies themselves, who laugh at animal rights activists like me and who tried to get me taken down from TikTok and teenagers. But TikTok actually needs people like me. They need adults who are going to teach you to think for yourself. When I was on TikTok, that is the number one message I gave. I talked about the animals and how we don't need to eat them. We don't need to hurt them. I talked about the planet and how we need to save this planet. And I talked about being kind to one another. When you get an app whose creators think that it's a good idea to get rid of older role models, this is the result. It's very scary. It's not okay. What should you be doing with your time? First of all, anytime that somebody tells you something, no matter what it is, like this thing is good, whatever it is, always pause. Don't judge it right away, but just pause take the information in and ask yourself, I wonder, is that true? Is what they're saying true? So if they say something is bad, same thing. Ask yourself, I wonder if it's true. I wonder if that thing really is bad. For example, if somebody says, oh, we should all gang up and take that vegan teacher down off of TikTok because she's trying to save animals and we don't like that. You should ask yourself, wow, I wonder if we should take her down. Maybe we shouldn't. Hmm? What other things can you think of that people have told you to do? People tell you to, to smoke drugs, to drink alcohol. These things are not good for your body. Your body is a temple. Your body should be honored. Take care of it. It's the only body you have Take care of yourself and your mental state as well. Be kind to yourself. I'm always telling you, give yourself a hug. Why do I say that? Because you deserve love. Okay, let's do it now. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. Give yourself a big hug. I'm serious, I'm really serious. Give yourself a hug and a pat on the back and a nice squeeze. Now when you do that, feel what you're doing. Okay, you're not just squeezing yourself. You're also getting some exercise in your arms and you're solidifying yourself. You are basically giving yourself the permission to feel safe without somebody else around. Now, why do you hug yourself? It's because many times in your life, there will not be somebody else there to hug you. And if you're going to do something crazy, like think it's fun to put something around your neck and strangle yourself, Maybe just think, okay, hold on, I'm gonna pause for a sec and I'm gonna give myself a hug and I'm just gonna sit there with myself and I'm gonna say, I wonder if that's a good thing or not. Hmm. Another way to hug yourself is to go like this. Put your arms like this, your hands like this. You put them inward, close to your body, like that. Just push hard, just well, not too hard, but you know, and just feel that. Okay, push your arms against your chest like that. That's the kind of thing you should do many times a day if you need to. If you feel like you need some love, love yourself because you're the only one who will always be there. Don't hurt yourself. Don't put things around your neck that could hurt you. Don't put death into your body. Don't put dead animals in your body. Don't 
put cow's milk that was stolen from a cow? Now, of course, if you're a kid watching right now or a teenager and you have no choice because your parents are crazy and they refuse to learn, it's tough. It's a tough one, isn't it? Because you don't want your parents to be mad at you. You don't want them to hurt you or kick you out of the house. I understand that. You do what you have to do to survive. Love yourself. Challenge them a little bit if you can. Especially try to teach them. Sometimes teenagers and kids are smarter than their own parents. Not always. If your parents are telling you to brush your teeth and floss your teeth and eat veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds, that's good. But if your parents are giving you an iPad or a phone and saying, off you go, have fun, and they're not watching what you're doing, that's bad. If your parents are telling you that it's okay to eat bacon, that's bad. Bacon is in the same class as cigarettes. It's a class one carcinogen. This processed meat, like ham, hot dogs, bacon, pepperoni, all of those, they are bad for you. They cause cancer. Other kinds of meats are also not good for you and especially not good for the animals. So my main message here today to everybody is think for yourself and don't gang up and bully people who have gray hair and who are kind and knowledgeable and trying to help to make this world a better place for you. Think a little bit ahead, okay? I'm not saying that everybody who's 56 and with gray hair is smart, because they're not. Sometimes there are smart people who are only 15 years old. I mean, some of them are really smart. If they're telling you to be vegan, as vegan as possible, they're smart. If those kids are telling you to eat your vegetables, to eat lentils, to eat tofu, and to eat chickpeas and beans, they're smart. If those kids are telling you don't hurt animals, don't hurt bees, don't eat honey, don't ride horses, they're smart because they've thought ahead about why. We shouldn't exploit people and we shouldn't hurt ourselves. Don't listen to somebody if they tell you to hurt yourself. And by putting dead animals in your body, how is that good? Your body should be a garden, not a cemetery. Put fruits and vegetables in your body, not death. Treat the planet well. Don't pollute. The best thing you can do for the planet is to be vegan because you use the least amount of resources. I feel really bad for those kids. And I mean, you know, I guess that when we look back, you know, the parents are probably right now feeling bad that they didn't watch their kids. Maybe they're gonna blame TikTok. It's not TikTok that's to blame. It's the parents and the people on TikTok who are not helping one another. It's really, really disturbing to see how many parents, when I would do a video, or how many adults anyway, when I would do a video talking about, hey, let's not hurt animals. And then somebody would duet that video, an adult, and be there eating chicken wings with a smile, thinking it's funny. And the example that these horrible people gave to so many children, you know, when you have adults that, that wrote an article about me that said that I had murdered somebody and that I was in jail for 10 years, that's not true. But how many kids believed it? How many people shared that? Over a half a million people. It's a lie. We need to teach people critical thinking. People should be able to look at something and say, that's not okay. And report the actual people who are doing things wrong, not the people who are vegan and who are trying to make a world a better place. Just because you feel bad sometimes that we are telling you don't eat these animals, it's not a reason to ban us. That's a reason to walk up closely and say, oh, what is this person saying? Maybe I should listen. Hmm? Yeah. So I got my cup. Here it is. Remember this cup? I show it often. Cow's milk is for baby cows, right? You know, it's in here right now, it's just water, but sometimes it's soy milk and sometimes it's oat milk. But remember, 
Don't hurt animals and don't hurt yourself. If somebody is telling you to harm yourself or to try to stop breathing, don't listen to them. I love you guys and I want you to be safe. And I really want you to have a planet that is healthy for you as well. I want you when you grow up to be able to swim in the ocean still and to actually just look out and see a dolphin jumping in the ocean, not in a swimming pool, not at SeaWorld. You understand? Think for yourselves and figure out who the real leaders are. You know in your heart, you know in your heart who they are. Just take some time to look closely, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I'm feeling sad still about those kids, but the best that we can do is talk about it and remind people to think for themselves and not to imitate that kind of behavior, right? That's all I can really do in this video. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider doing that. There's a subscribe button, press it. I'll be talking about all kinds of things, all kinds of things in the news, all kinds of foods, ethics, everything, every animal. We're gonna talk about everything and we're gonna to get to know each other. I really wanna to get to know you guys too. So press like and press the subscribe button to make sure that you get notifications. There's a little bell and that way when I come on, that's a chance where you can write me a question or something. If you are here watching and you don't actually like me or what I'm saying, I invite you to go somewhere else. Just leave rather than being cruel. But really, I really think you should stay because I think we're lacking some older role models in this world. Maybe that's what you guys need. Somebody with a few wrinkles and some gray hair in your life, kick in the bum and say, hey, guys, wake up. Hmm? Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Go eat some healthy veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds.